Charlie Adam in front of the cop, scores! Blackpool lead at Anfield. It's sneak through to Varney, it's a second goal for Blackpool. They have stung the cop. The biggest result in Blackpool's recent history. They have come to Anfield and they have reduced Liverpool to rubble. Blackpool's first visit to Anfield in nearly 40 years is one of the highlights of an exceptional first half of the season. It's been a fairy tale dream for, for each one of our players because, you know, coming from the Championship, you know, nobody expected us to get to the Premier League and we were playing the Premier League and we've done well. Um, but to be able to go to places like Liverpool and, and Newcastle and getting three points is it's fantastic, but, you know, it's, it's no luck, it's been deserved. That result was a painful experience for Liverpool defender Martin Skirtle. The rare home defeat was one of the most uncomfortable days in a difficult first half of the season for the Merseysiders. Yes, it was a big pity. I feel very disappointed about that defeat, especially when you play in front of your home fans. Nobody was expecting such a bad result against them, with it being Blackpool's first season. As I've mentioned already, it happened at the beginning of the season, and it wasn't a good time for us. I'm sure we're now in a much better position, and the next time we play them, we'll win and take all three points. That time has arrived, although Blackpool are set to face only their second match in four weeks. They'll take on Liverpool without their suspended captain, Charlie Adam, who was such an influence at Anfield. However, from their first game in the Premier League, the Tangerines are both surprised and entertained. They've more than held their own in the top flight, and although it may be unexpected to many, their success hasn't surprised them. We've achieved because we're confident in our own, you know, our own group that we're good enough to be in this league and stay in this league. Um, you know, we kind of get too overconfident because then you get shot down in flames. But you know, we're happy with what we've done, and um, you know, hopefully, it can continue that way. Roy Hodgson needs a good Christmas to kickstart his side's push for Europe, but they'll have to start getting results on their travels. They've taken just one point from their last four away games. The postponement of their home fixture with Fulham denied Hodgson the chance of much-needed points. But Liverpool are sure to be lifted by the news that Steven Gerrard will be back after more than five weeks on the treatment table. Liverpool is a big club and all of us, the players and the coach, can expect a lot of pressure. It's entirely up to us, though, how we cope with it. I'm sure that we'll get some much better results soon, and we will climb up the league table. Doing that would certainly help us to feel less under pressure. While the pressure is also on Blackpool's groundsmen to ensure the Bloomfield Road pitch is playable, Ian Holloway and his players are looking forward to the start of the festive season and the prospect of facing Liverpool once again. It's bound to bring back happy memories for a side that's lighting up the Premier League.